Hello everyone. So today we are going to do the first of our two Regency styles. Um, this one is the more complex. Um, you really kind of need curls for this one, so all my curly hair girls can rejoice because yay. And uh, the ones who don't have curly hair, um, this is how we're getting our curls. Uh, I went more for braid waves with curly ends because that's the only part that has to be curled. So uh, I'm going to take this down and be right back with you. Oh, and before we go there, that was weird, um, this is going to be like my greatest hairstyle ever. Not because it's the prettiest, I mean it's pretty but it might not be the prettiest, um, but because this will work from um, shoulder length all the way down. Oh, um, it's actually for more um, shorter hair, but I had to adapt it for my long hair, so yay, I'll try and cover everything. Okay, right, back in so we're back with all our curls. Um, let me tell you what you need before we even go anywhere. Okay, um, you're going to need at least four bobby pins um, to hold our ribbon in. You need a piece of ribbon too, huh? Um, I'm not using regular ribbon because it tends to slide really badly on my hair. So, uh, as you know, I've started sewing. So I got this trim um, that's shiny on one side and felt on the other, and the felt tends to stay. So that's what I'll be using as my ribbon today. And I know it doesn't quite match, and I don't care. Um, you'll also need um, some U-shaped pins. Now, my shorter hair girls, you'll just need bobby pins um, because these are probably going to be too long for what we're going to use them for. But uh, the rest of y'all, U-shaped pins. Um, and you're going to need some other type of clip. You can probably get away with some smaller jaw clips, um, but I am using my bent half knitting needles because they make really sturdy new shape pins. All right, here we go. So no matter your length, um, it, it's all going to start the same. You'll need to split in the middle, which mine should be fairly well split since I did mine when I braided last night. Then we're going to go just behind our ear, up and over, and separate that out from the rest of our hair on both sides. And try and get it even. We'll see how even mine ends up. <laughs> there we go. All right. Decent enough, I think. Okay, just to get mine out of the way for now, get mine out of the way, I'm just going to clip it with a barrette real quick up under my chin so I can mess with this. All right, my shorter haired gals, all you're going to need to do is put it in a pony right about here. A little high, um, but that's it. You'll just need to pony. Now, as long haired gals, well, we have to get our hair into a shorter pony. So the technique we're going to use is JJJ's pretzel bun. I know, right? That woman teaches me so many things. So you're just going to pull back what you have that you didn't separate out with your left hand. You're going to wrap around like so underneath back up. Now, if your hair is longer than mine, like if you happen to be JJ, you may have to wrap twice and that's fine. Um, but I only have to go once because, you know, I'm not quite there yet. And then we're just going to pull it through the loop like so. And that's where our first set of pins go. Now, if you would rather use jaw clips, they should be hidden underneath our curls. So you can probably get away with it. But I'm going to use these little pins, my knitting needles, because they work good for me. All right. So now that that's secure, you have this left over. And we can undo this mess under our chin as well. All right, so this next part is actually fairly simple. Um, you see we have a mess of curls, but we want them pinned up. So what we're gonna do is go section by section, taking 
I don't know, about that much. And then twirl till you get a little loop. And then pin it. Now you want them to be kind of loose, so you don't want them, you know, like huge and, and uh, or really, really tight either. But that's just what we're going to do. Little loops, and then you just pin it all over that pretzel bun. Thus these nice long pins because they'll tuck nicely into that little bun we've got under there. My shorter hair girls will just pin their curls down, curls down with um, the straight up bobby pins um, because they don't need all this mess yet. Even though a lot of y'all are growing your hair out and you will eventually have to graduate to the big pins. All right, I'm gonna get this part done and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. See you in a sec. So here's where we should be. We should still have these nice and loose and looking kind of silly. And then you should have a nice curly ball on the back of your head. Um, Ta-da! Neat, huh? Uh, I always recommend having a little mirror so you can like check and make sure that everything's covered and looks uniform. All right, so now we are going to take our ribbon or, you know, trim, and we're gonna put it on like a headband. Now, in order to get it to stay, this is where we have our bobby pins. X pattern no suckers on your ribbon so it'll stay plucked. Like so. And the other side. Now, some of you gals may be able just to wrap it around and tie it and it'll stay. Mine won't stay. It just slides right on back of my head. So, I decided to do it this way. But I also think what would work really well is just an actual headband, um, which I don't have. Which is kind of funny, isn't it? I don't own a single headband. I think it's because they always hurt me behind my ears, so I just quit buying them. Alrighty. So now your ribbon is in place. Now we're going to take what we have left here up front and we're going to hide that ribbon by going back underneath and I'm going to come back over top and around one more time. And then on this side I'll just do the twirl and pin it like I pinned my other curls. Do the other right. Side. So there you go. There is our Regency hairstyle with the curls. It turned out really pretty, didn't it? I like this one. I think it's fancy, and of course, you could do any kind of ribbon or headband motif to kind of, you know, make it match your outfit. It's too bad I didn't have turquoise to go with my uh, lacy pin tucked mess today. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's your Regency hairstyle. I would like to uh, give a thanks to Mrs. Chansey over at In Timely Fashion because she has this tutorial over there in picture form. Granted, her hair is shorter, so I had to figure out how to get this mess to stay well. So thank you, JJJ, long hair for you to see for your pretzel bun, which, you know, still amazes me that something so simple and comfortable can have so many uses. I mean, it's under there, even if you can't see it. Okay, um, anyways, that was your first Regency. The second one coming up is a braided style. So uh, I don't think it's quite as pretty as this one, but hey, it's still period, and that's what counts. All right, I will see you all next time. Bye.